Okay, so it's um, about half past three on the 27th, I think. Uh, it's my second night in. A um, number of things. So uh, they lost my blood results. <coughs> Excuse me, my blood. Um, my blood tests. Which meant that uh, they had to wake me up about uh, 10 to 1 to um, have a new one done. Which was very unfortunate, obviously, because um, they made the error with the Hickman line. It means there were no ports, left no lumens, so um, they had to do a needle stick. What happened was they completely lost my blood test, like just disappeared off the face of the planet. So they had to do them again, and that involved waking me up after I'd struggled to get to sleep because of the hiccups. And then because the blood test was done so late and had gone off to the labs late for the second time, they had to wake me up in the middle of the night to give me um, some potassium and magnesium um, because it was so late. Now, if they had not lost the blood test, they would have been able to give me that before I went to sleep and everything would have been hunky-dory. Um, so a lot of the, um, the stress from that night was caused by the fact they lost the blood test. And uh, being woken up at 10 to 1 after you've struggled to get to sleep because of hiccups for an hour um, wasn't really great. Anyway, uh, three hours later, I get woken up again about quarter past three. Well, I was looking rubbish. The hiccups came back the moment I woke up and they stayed for, for quite a while. Um, and it turns out my magnesium and phosphates are low. I don't really know what magnesium or phosphates mean in your blood. All I know is that they were low and they gave me some delicious medicine to make up for that. So I have a discussion with the doctor who wants to fit in with a cannula. Um, I said, no, I don't really want that. Who said, no, it's okay, we can do it orally. So here we have magnesium and phosphates. Um, phosphates. <laughs> um, which apparently don't taste very nice and I have no squash um, at hand. So that'll be fun. Yeah, it's half past three, so they won't work, but I had 10 past quarter past. So we're gonna, gonna do this and then I'm trying to go back to sleep. They'll wake me up again in like three hours, I'm sure, to do the steroids at around six o'clock again. It's kind of unfortunate because the uh, Gentleman Brian is uh, a heavy snorer. God bless Brian. He was uh, a nice older gentleman, um, very pleasant, um, very sweet, but um, by shit, he snored um, <laughs> generally in the middle of the night. And then it, he didn't just, didn't just snore, didn't just snore. That would be too easy. He um, also uh, talked in his sleep and had like sort of night terrors. So on that particular evening, he, um, I think he was talking about a dog. He was warning somebody that if they came near him, his, uh, his Alsatian was going to attack him. Um, and he kept stressing that that dog has got some bite. It's got some bite. It's got some bite. And then he started barking. So Brian was a lovely man, but when you have a Brian on the ward and you are sleep deprived already, you, you want to get Brian and make him shush. Let's get on this. It tastes like, oh, oh, oh. It tastes like alka seltzer until the end when it tastes really bad. I mean, yeah, it's really bad. It's 3.30 a.m. My vocabulary was suffering a little bit. Um, to clarify, it tasted very bad. It tasted like balls, like actual balls. So um, big, fizzy Alka-Seltzer testicles. Okay, the next one. Yeah, that was better. Um, <laughs> small bonus. Um, usually drinking in the night. I think I'll go and have a wee, but I don't, I don't. Plus five points for the catheter, no getting up for wee. Uh, disadvantage though, when you move, it feels like somebody's trying to tug out the inner lining of your penis. Anyway, I'm gonna try and go back to sleep now, and you'll uh, be back in the morning to complain about not sleeping. Nobody likes sleep deprivation generally. Even normally healthy people feel much worse or in a much worse mood, I think by like 30% or something, if they've not slept the night before. Uh, if you have prolonged periods of bad sleep, it also makes you more likely to catch colds and catch illnesses and that kind of stuff. So it's a big deal. And those with MS suffer worse. I think 50% or thereabouts of people with MS have uh, disrupted sleep or they have difficulty getting to sleep or staying asleep, something like that. Fortunately, I'm not in that position. Um, but what I do find is if I've had disrupted sleep uh, and if I'm stressed and obviously then not sleeping 
coincides with that. Uh, it makes the symptoms that I have, my underlying symptoms, much worse. So uh, my mood in particular is a big one, my wife will attest, uh, but also uh, word finding, coordination, um, sometimes numbness and tingles, they all, they all get a little bit worse than what they were. So this particular period could be quite difficult while people are in hospital. Uh, fortunately, it does get better. Um, you know, when you go into your isolation room, it, things things that would generally improve. But if you spend a prolonged period on that bay, or if you tend not to sleep well while you're in hospital, or if, unlike me, when I sleep like a brick in the isolation room, it it will be much worse. It's not something that um, it's not something that probably people account for, but something they should be aware of. Um, but they are giving me some frusamide to to get it out. So uh, lots of very full catheter bags. But uh, feeling much better than I did this morning. So. Um, all is good. We'll wait and see how things go tonight. But uh, yeah, day two, nearly done. That monkey was given to me by my son uh, when I had my second round of Lemtrada, I think in 2017. Um, and he gave it to me for my third round and then he insisted I take it with me with this time. I bloody love that monkey. I hate the pumps. So somebody else moved out about an hour ago. Uh, that's my pump. So yeah, I'm in my new digs. Gonna be here for like 12 to 15 to 25 days. So I better get comfy. You were in there ages and then you left and then you came back again. We'll do another one later on, but uh, much happier, feeling much better than this morning. Uh, it's nice to be in this room. Uh, God bless Brian, um, but he's a noisy man at night. And um, as they are attesting now, these pumps are really loud and that's not going to stop me being in here but uh, generally I'm hoping to get slightly more sleep in this room than I did in the other one. So uh, fingers crossed and uh, hopefully it's more of a better.